Hey, what's up everybody? This is Blitzwing Men back here for another video. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series number 66, Constructicon Overload. Wow, this guy looks amazing. And there's a little Devastator piece. But as you can see, I got him in a nice pose here. He just looks amazing. Wow. Um, for most people, it's the final Constructicon. I still need scrap metal personally, and I like to go for completist, so I'm going to get Skipjack as well. Technically, he's a Constructicon, so, yeah. But I got him in this cool pose. He looks awesome. Oh, my gosh. Let's take a look at the detail on his face. There's this nice, ugly mug. He kind of has a face like a long haul with those little teeth, and then he's got the eyes and everything. Really nice. Um, for articulation, well, he let's go over like how he looks first. We've got these hooks, these claws, big old feet, like pointy bits. Um, and then he's got a little scorpion tail up here. Just very accurate to the concept art. Very accurate overall with the wheels and everything. Looks really nice. Um, articulation wise, his head. Um, he was, look, you can look at all the detail while I'm doing this as well. All that beautiful silver picked paint picked out in detail. Um, his head is on a uh, ball joint, so you can look left, right, very stiff, up and down. Um, you can use this neck joint as well if you need to. And he's got this faux chest um, grill part section here. A um, little stinger moves up and down. Arms are on ratchets, can move forward and back, in and out. You got a hinge here for this arm, a hinge at the elbow for that arm. Hinge at the claw for that arm and a rotation at the elbow. I guess you would say like the claw for that arm. Same here. It's got a rotation at the bicep. Bend at the elbow. Double bend actually. It's got two different joints. You can really bend it up more due to transformation. But and then a wrist hinge also to do transformation with the little hooks hooks on there. Um, legs can kick forward that far. Back that far. You can go outward. You can do the full splits almost. Um, he has thigh swivel, his knee joint can, or the knee, uh, spike can pivot, um, you can bend his knees about a little under 90 degrees, and then he has ankle tilt, surprisingly, and his heel spur can move up back and forth as well, and this little panel does whatever you need it to do, but he looks really nice, very stable, just an awesome figure. So, now uh, hopefully I can get him in there, but for a size comparison, here he is with a deluxe a leader and a voyager so first off here he is next to who should we do first let's do this let's do the leader let's go down in size how's that sound guys so we'll start with the big guys first here he is with leader blackout Oops, gotta get them standing right. I'm talking about blackout, not overload. There they are together. He's a shorter leader, but you know, he still looks really nice. Um, here he is next to my new Battle Blades Optimus Prime. So there he is there. So he's a pretty distant Voyager size. And here he is next to little, come on, stand, buddy. There we go. Little tuner mod flap. So, yeah, he's bigger than a deluxe, definitely. About Voyager height, but he makes up for it in bulk and vehicle mode and combined mode. And his shoulders are really wide, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, so for comparison, let's get those guys out of here. <clears throat> and I will put them all back in their places as I talk to you guys like I usually do but um, that's pretty much it for size comparisons so now let's get into transformation shall we um, he doesn't really have a big backpack like I said um, and this piece here let's turn him back around to your face in the front buddy so everyone can see you <laughs> Um, but this piece here is green, painted really nicely, and um, is gray as well, and you can, it's like the turbine section for Devastator's neck, it can hinge, it can attach to him in robot mode, I believe, I haven't actually tried this yet, but, oh, I guess it can, it goes in that little notch right there. Let me see if I can do it. 
You guys saw it, right? Yeah, I think you did. There we go. So that just flops up, flops down, or flops up against his back like so. And then you got storage for that. So now, um, transforming, you just want to remove that little um, abdomen section, basically. It kind of looks like a bee. Like a, so he already looks insectoid enough. He doesn't need that, too. Like a big cocoon, like a big, um, you know, abdomen on his, on his butt. Um, but here we go. So then you just want to fold in the little spike first. Straighten out the arms. Straighten this section as well. Move everything forward. Very tight ratchets because these are the uh, hips for Devastator. So yeah, and then you just want to take the claw, the hook claw, fold the fist in, rotate it up, fold that in, tab that into place like so. Take this claw, rotate it. There's a little tab and a little slot right there, tab, slot. That goes into place there, and then you just rotate this up. And this will rest, kind of. It's like hard to do it sometimes. There we go. But it kind of goes inside there. There we go. So that just folds up in there. And you want to do the same for the other arm. So again, just hold this claw in like so, rotate that piece around. Um, I meant the little elbow joint here, just rotate that around. And then fold the claw in, tab it in, take the arm, rotate it up, rotate the claw inwards, and fold that in like so. And then you got overload T posing. <laughs> well, um, I guess that's something. <laughs> so you can do that, I guess. But um, here he is. And okay, now what you want to do is come to the legs here. Um, fold. Uh, what you what do you want to do first? Okay, fold down, or fold in the feet, hinge in the feet, like so. Flip these panels down if they weren't already, and just tab the feet in together. I'll fold the heel spurs in, of course. I always forget that part. <laughs> But fold those in, tab those together, fold these wheel sections forward, fold the knee pads in, fold that piece out, just like so, and there you got the front of the vehicle. Now what you want to do is rotate the arms about 90 degrees or so around, I forgot how much, ouch. I caught my finger, but then fold these sections in, tab, give them a good squeeze and tab them together. And they should sit like so. And then you want to lift this tab section up. It's on a little slider there, so just slide that, tab it down. And this will peg in the front, right, on that gray slot like you saw. That will just... That will just peg in. Like so, and you want to bring these wheels down, like so. Make sure everything is nice and tabbed in, which can be a little tricky to do on this guy, but nowhere near as bad as 8012. <laughs> Not to bash on that figure again, anything, it looks gorgeous, but 